Doc, right, doc, 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 I I'll give help. it to you, just make sure you're standing still. Okay. Oh, what, you want a second one? Because every greedy Jaegermane needs a second shot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you right in the helmet. <laughs> oh, I hit your mouth. Yeah, don't even say thank you, you damn oh, junkie. You need a doctor. You need several doctors. So I think I spoke to you soon on that whole Operation Health is fixing matchmaking from the last video because what I should have said was Operation Health is fixing matchmaking for casuals. Filthy fucking casual noob bag! Now that I've fooled around in rank for a couple weeks, I've landed myself in garbage tier platinum three and my wait times for casual queue, not ranked queue, casual queue are up to 30 minutes long. I really wish I was kidding, but I'm not. When you, you talk dirty to me. On the off chance that you've never played rank before, it's the quote unquote competitive mode in which there are not only five enemies on the other team, but there are also four additional enemies on your own team that throw tantrums and flame you while you carry them to a higher ranking than they deserve. You guys fucking suck. I'm fucking done. I'm, you guys suck it. An enemy has been slain. Kill. Fucking kill yourself. Triple kill. Just shut up, dude. Yeah, I love the psychology behind rank Q. It's almost as if we have a vested interest in encouraging and motivating each other so that we can all win and rank up together, right? Ah, fuck that, dude. I'm gonna flame and berate you assholes all the way down to silver in an act of self-sabotage because I'm an idiot. And because I don't want a 30-minute wait time for each game that I play, I was forced to set up an alternative Uplay account just so I could, you know, play the game. Hey, do I get an achievement for this? Action completed. Action completed. Action completed. Action completed. Oh, that's... That's pretty neat. And I would be remiss if I didn't dedicate a video to the mascot of Operation Health, Doc, or as I like to call him, Dr. Doom, because all he does is abuse his powers and shove blue things into people. You're wrong! What? That's the best I could come up with. What else are we gonna call him? Dr. Octopus? What are we gonna call this guy? Uh, uh, Dr. Octopus. Yeah, that's crap. Uh, Dr. Octopus. Crap! Dr. Octopus. That's pretty good. His magical power is his stim pistol that can not only heal people, but it can also revive them from a down position. And people love this blue juice so much, they will quite literally kill each other to get it. Oh, using a frag. Nope. 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 Yep, right nope. there. I need nope. To do it. 10 oh. seconds. You've only right lost there. 10 health. I'm not going to give you a stim right. shot for that. Clear. What? 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 Why do you mean no? You're a certified doctor. You're a certified doctor. Cap uh, can's a doctor, down, where's Cap? You have a band-aid. Come here, Cap can. Come on, you're a doctor. Here. During the assault. Shoot me. What are you gonna do? Shoot me? Yeah. He can help me that. There's some Russian medicine. Reloading, cover Whoops. me! The ability to instantly heal and revive at range is A, a fantastic way to support your team, and B, a great way to turn them all into juice-addicted fiends. Reloading! I have another one. Here, I'll boost you up. Boost. Go, 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 go. Nice. Either way, you'll definitely be injecting most of this epinephrine into the German defenders, because much like Pro Genji's and Hanzo mains in Overwatch need a mercy, Bandit and Jaeger definitely need a doctor all the goddamn time. Doc, come on, man. Yes, I'll, I'll. I need healing. You're powered up. Get in there. All units, be advised, I totally don't want to die. All units, I'm slightly better than I was a second ago. And as much as I want to tell you to never get high on your own supply, juicing yourself up makes you harder to kill than a lone wanderer from Vault 111 that's addicted to Psycho Jet. Just think about it this way, Doc is already a solid 3 armor operator. He's on defense, which means that he has access to another layer of armor from Rook, and he can overheal for 40 more hit points. So slap on that skull looking mask of his and prepare to be more invincible than Skeletor himself. <laughs> You're gonna die, Glass. Not if you overheal. What the head. fuck was that? He has better action. You stay lying down, by the way. Oh my god, he's gonna meme him. Oh. oh my god, not this. No. I can miss two shots. You overheal, man. What it compensates fuck? for accuracy, my guy. Oh my god. I'm just sad I didn't compensate pick up a second rook plate on the way over. Compensate for accuracy. Pick up another one. Oh, you should. Yeah, maybe heal rook. 
Oh, what a good idea! Oh, look, let me hit you! Oh, oh, oh! Whoops, I missed. Sorry. Now, where enemies get really frustrated with you is when you revive yourself. Because as long as you have one stim shot remaining, you can pick yourself up from a down state and cheese whoever was shooting at you. So don't be surprised when the enemy specifically targets you over everybody else. <laughs> I saw like glowing eyes. Behind you. Enemy down. What? He's not. Oh, nice! Oh! Perfect! Cap oh my god! Him. Cap can't got him. The clutch! Beauty. Yes! Oh, yes! What a clutch! Cap can trap. That That's was divine intervention. Ridiculous. That was the only explanation for that. <laughs> oh my god. And even though his stim shot is amazing, there are some things it can't fix. A prime example is that it can heal physical wounds, but it cannot heal emotional wounds. Isn't it bad that you like with that different. face mask on, like your jigsaw, you look less terrifying than the regular <laughs> Valkyrie skin? <laughs> you know what? Yes. I'm not surprised by that. But at the same time, I hear a twitch. it makes me sad. It's like you come up to me and you're about to say, I want to play a game. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? <laughs> also, it can't fix Smoke's arms. I'm not sure what their deal is. Like, sometimes they're invisible, sometimes they're paralyzed. Whatever's wrong with them, Doc cannot fix it. Why you gotta do that to me, Walrus? Now I'm exposed. So they, they get fucking pinched on. No, not they get pinched, and then they just have an extra peak spot to kill me. Well, if I die, that is. Which you will. You're, you're assuming a lot here, Badger. Yo. <laughs> I'm, just... <laughs> I'm assuming right now that you're gonna die. Because <laughs> you're smoke, that. and you're so glitched, no. and you have no now arms. That you said it, You though. have now no arms, and it. I'm Doc. I'm not giving you arms. arms. Look at me. I don't have- I have arms. Yeah, but sometimes you don't, and I just don't like it when you don't have arms. Because when you're peeking, Weight I feel embarrassed that an armless man killed me. It's embarrassing. Weight reduction, bro. <laughs> oh shit! Everybody's dying over there. <gasps> Thank you. I, I don't like. I don't like when you don't have arms. Was that as a medical professional, I cannot <laughs> recommend you lacking arms. <laughs> Now that you understand how valuable your stim shots are, you'll need something to protect yourself so that you can actually use them, which is where his guns come in handy. I need a weapon. Right this way. Allow me to say right away that I'm most definitely not an MP5 user. I know it's super effective and reliable and consistent, but it's also boring as all hell. Like, do you really want to be that toxic doc that juices himself up before spawn peeking with an ACOG? Medic! 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 <laughs> Real men spawn peek with the Magnum, which happens to be my favorite sidearm. Not only because it hits like a lumberjack, but also because it's incredibly satisfying to finish people off with. <clears throat> Pull the trigger! Do it! Do it, mother! Pull the trigger! <laughs> Just so we're clear, though, the iron sights kind of make me want to shoot myself with it, Brandon Fraser style. I would honestly pay a hundred thousand renown for a hollow on this thing. It should come as no surprise that my go-to weapon with Doc is the shoddy because it hits like a shotgun should, and much like the Spanish Inquisition, nobody expects it. So the element of surprise is on your side. Pro tip: Run away from the man with the shotgun. <laughs> Paired with the fact that you're a bullet absorbing ball of rubber, you can often be riddled with bullets and still have time to blast people away with buckshot because you're such a juggernaut. <laughs> Yeah, I just survived 213 damage from the other team, including 121 damage at one time from Glass that I only survived with an overheal. So don't let anybody ever tell you the Doc isn't a monster. I'm like some kind of berserker. But with guns! It makes your preparation phase a blast because shoddies make it infinitely easier to shoot drones like portable clay pigeons. What about his drone family? Two little drone kids? Someone isn't returning home. 
Not that I'm part of any sort of anti-P90 fan club. I love occasionally running with a gun that shoots plastic beads at people because, hey, it doesn't matter what kind of bullet it is. If you hit the guy in the head, all it takes is one. Shut the front door. I'm Monty was trying to get a time. soda, and I was like, nope. You're, you're, oh, you're no, too man. thick already. No. You will you're remain parched. Ripping. Mm, right in the face. No, no, I, I hurt her on the barbed wire. She basically tripped on it. Yeah, she's right there. Everybody hates in the P90, but if you hit him in the head, it doesn't matter. Doesn't the P90 matter. is shit. Oh, I dropped Ivana. Oh, oh, that fucking weaponized fidget spinner. Are dead. Hey, I got the Cyclops too. Good lord, dude. Oh. And the Nazi. Oh, oh, yeah, wow. he's down. Oh, you got him? Yeah. Down. Just be careful about spraying it at drones during the preparation phase, because I always seem to accidentally friendly fire teammates and have to quickly bribe them with juice to avoid getting team killed. Shit, sorry, Smoke, I'll juice you. Please don't murder me. And I know it's unpopular, it's definitely not the meta, but I think Lurking Doc is best doc. Just try to pretend that you're playing Kavera, that'll do the trick. Bam! Nailed him! You're such a lurky doc. No, oh, this is how you play Doc. You turn the entire map into a haunted house. Lurking. How do you play Doc? What? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he's right here. The one that has an MP5. Oh, I he guess. is here too. Drop and drop. <laughs> <laughs> Doc's haunted house where everybody dies and mission is free and there's no bathroom breaks. This lurk technique is enhanced by using the right charms to bait your enemies, which is a much more effective method of killing an enemy than you may imagine. Oh, that one's gonna hurt! What's with your... Do you have any particular, like, uh, thought process when it comes to your selection of charms, Badger? What's with the sushi on this one? Because I'm trying to lure out Hibana. What does it look like? Mm, true. <laughs> Good thing for you, if you're lurking correctly, your enemies will let you know. So if they immediately throw something into chat after dying, you know you've hit Apex lurk status. Question marks? Bully! How? You piece of shit. Report it. Now this lurking technique does leave you as the last operator standing much more often, but the key to clutching with Doc is just remaining calm. Like most players freak out when they hear that a fuse are planted while they should move slowly and methodically. It's guaranteed to work out some of the time. One friendly operator remaining. If you want to get goofy, you can always pull an Anthony Pitt and revive the enemy. Yes, you can use your stim shot to revive enemies and give them a second chance in the engagement. Nope, oh, nope, you still suck. And finally, in case Skeletor headgear just isn't your style, the Rorschach mask is a neato looking alternative that I'm surprised I don't see more often given how menacing it looks. See you in my nightmares. And that's about it. I would like to thank you very much for watching and be sure to tune in next time when I try to get Aku out of my head. I know I told you guys a while ago that my brain at idle when I'm not thinking about anything else is Orson Man, take me bother. But now it's switched to Aku ordering a pizza. You know where he says, extra thick. That's all that I think about all day when my mind is not occupied and I please send some help.